Some local neighborhoods are banding together to fight crimes like that or through things like Nextdoor app. The Now Casey's Allison Bruner learned how police and neighbors are using this new app. Reporting crime or talking about suspicious things they might see happening like door-to-door -door magazine sales or a suspicious vehicle. I would guess almost 30 incidents in the last couple of months. A new social media tool Tim Sadie credits for helping to protect his family. I mean, it's a great way for neighbors to exchange their thoughts or concerns they might have in their neighborhood just to help their neighbors be a little more aware. The app and website is called Next Door, a computer program being used right now by Westwood Police. We got on nextdoor.com and so far the interaction has been very positive. Uh, it gives us a chance to reach out, tell them about crime trends, scams, things like that, Halloween safety, uh, traffic flow issues with construction in the area. And we also get a chance to tell them about some of the positive things that are going on. Technology that's helping neighbors stay connected. One thing that it does that maybe Facebook wouldn't do is that it groups people by neighborhood. While also alerting others about any crime or concerns. So situations where thieves have an open invitation like this could be averted by using the next door app. There was a couple that moved in about a block up the street. And the first day they were in, they had their like a few packages stolen off their front porch. However, when we do suspect criminal activity, it's still best to pick up the phone. If it's a crime in progress, they should absolutely call the police. An app that's adding another set of eyes for us. It makes me feel safer to know as much as I can and then make a decision about what I want to do about it. As well as our neighbor next door. It does keep us a little closer to those that we serve.